Okay, we're gonna <clears throat> look at a video here for FPP and integrating with Home Assistant. Uh, I see this question quite a bit, <clears throat> how they can have uh, FPP or X lights uh, control, you know, smart switches, outlets, whatever you wanna have happen. So we've been using FPP and Home Assistant for at least the last three years uh, together. It's been pretty straightforward. Uh, so here we have our scheduler. <clears throat> Essentially, we have a schedule that runs from 5 to 5.30 and the same schedule that runs from 5.30 to 6. Uh, the reason we do this is sunset uh, for us is happening between anywhere between 5 and 5.30. Obviously, it changes every day. And if the uh, scheduler runs at 5, it does some home automation stuff. Uh, but because of the sun set timing, uh, other things actually take place. So uh, obviously we could disable the sunset <clears throat> automations, but it was e easier to just throw in another uh, playlist here with the exact same times to kind of re redo anything that actually happened there. So um, essentially, as you can see at five o'clock to 5.30, we do a pre-show X lights on, house lights off. Uh, that is the uh, playlist, which is right here. Pre-show X lights on, house lights off. Uh, we can see we have a lead-in uh, of a script that's called uh, that I created. It's just a HA, a, you know, home assistant lights off script uh, that runs first. And then a you know pre-show goes on, uh, which is just a sequence for 30 seconds that loops uh, until the show starts. So what this uh, HA lights off script is actually doing, we can see here, it's basically just posting, uh, you know, to the home assistant URL and the API and the actual webhook uh, that we specify here. So, you know, it posts to that. <clears throat> when anything happens on that automation, uh, we actually do some specific things. So we'll bring up uh, home assistant here. So here we just, I just added ZZZ, so they're at the bottom, easy to find. Uh, but we have two automations, FPP, turn outside lights off, FPP, turn outside lights on. Uh, so we'll go into the outside lights off, <clears throat> and we can see here it's going to match our webhook, FPP, turn lights off. So when this is actually seen on the local network, we have some automations that actually run. Uh, specifically, we turn on the front soffit lights because those are the cough bulbs that are part of the uh, show. We turn off uh, lights in the front office because that window is uh, visible from the street. Make that a little darker. Uh, we then also turn off any of the uh, outside non-controllable lights. So like the soffit garage lights or anything that you know can actually be seen and kind of distract from the show. Uh, as well here, we actually turn off the living room lights because you can see those lights through the front door. <clears throat> we have to do that here on the turn switch, turn off switch service and not over here uh, in the turn off lamp because they're different uh, options. One's a lamp or a bulb we're controlling versus a switch. So pretty straightforward. Uh, we're full ubiquity here. We have a viewport here, which is their kind of uh, PoE powered HDMI uh, video viewer essentially. Uh, so here we're basically telling the viewport to change it from our normal um, scene of viewing the cameras and actually turn on a Christmas view that has specific cameras there as well as uh, turn off an automation that says when the doorbell camera sees any motion to change uh, the viewport view because with the lights flashing uh, the motion <clears throat> gets kind of chaotic essentially so again these are all things that we utilize on a day-to-day -day basis uh, but the FPP script basically kind of stops all that from happening and gets the house ready for a Christmas light show uh, automatically. So that's kind of how we kind of preset the house, get everything ready, ready to go. Uh, we'll hop back over here to the scheduler. Uh, so again, these two uh, playlists are exactly the same. So the show kicks off at six o'clock uh, our time and runs till nine o'clock. Uh, so we'll go over here to this Christmas 2023. Um, playlists, which is right here. 
So as you can see, there's no lead in. We kind of just start right into the show at this point in time. Uh, we do have an intro uh, sequence that we play with a song, uh, but otherwise we kind of go through and just kind of you know, run through the show. This will loop uh, repeatedly until we actually come close to nine o'clock. Then that sh whatever song is playing at nine o'clock will finish. And then we'll, we do at the uh, lead out uh, part of this. So our lead out is a whole different playlist. It's post show, uh, X lights off, house lights on. So we'll go to this tab where we have that, post show, X lights off, house lights on. As you can see, we basically play a close um, sequence with a song uh, that says, hey, you know, <clears throat> thanks for watching, come on back uh, tomorrow. Uh, and then we basically call a script. The script is Home Assistant lights on. Uh, so the same same thing we can see as the lights off, but the lights on. Uh, we basically just post to our uh, Home Assistant uh, specific URL, uh, FPP turn lights on. I think our last one was turn lights off, so you can see off, on. Nothing, nothing crazy here, just pretty straightforward. And then we can kind of go over here and kind of look at our uh, FPP turn outside lights on. As you can guess, the webhook is changed to kind of match that in FPP. And then we basically kind of undo everything that we just did uh, at six o'clock when the you know light show was, you know, or sorry, at five o'clock when the light show is going to happen. We basically turn on all the exterior lights for the garage, you know, anything to kind of light up for the evening. Uh, we tell uh, FPP that the software lights are on, so it's, it's happy. Uh, at that point in time, we kind of <clears throat> tell the viewport to go back to our 16 uh, views of the camera. We re-enable the doorbell <clears throat> motion, so when uh, our doorbell camera sees motion, it changes the viewport to zoom in sp specifically on that uh, camera, and we turn the lights back on uh, in the house as well. So again, these are just super basic examples of what you can do with um, Home Assistant and, and FPP. A lot of people like to use the MyQTT stuff. Uh, a lot more is involved with that. We just use simple webhooks. Works very easy. You can set them up. You can have them exposed to outside your network, inside your network, whatever you want to do. Uh, we only have them available on the network. So again, less idea of people trying to do malicious events. Everything's on a specific, you know, VLAN and so forth. But yeah, I thought that'd be helpful to kind of see what we're doing here. But essentially, everything's completely hands off. Um, light show prepares the house for for a light show. Uh, when light show's over, it kind of undoes everything and gets gets us ready for the evening. Any questions? Let me know. Thanks.